Like I told you about a friend of mine that came to me with huge difficulties and he told me, I don't know, we're suffering from poverty and this and that, a lot of difficulties. I told him, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I have to tell you that it's a good thing that you're going through. And it's not that I'm cheap. I gave him a lot of money and I helped that guy and a few times I bought him tickets to Uman and I helped him a lot of times with food and groceries and stuff and, and I brought peop other people to give him. Thank God, I wasn't rejecting him because he didn't want to give, thank God. But I told him, when I look at you, I can only tell you good things. I can tell you for sure that the reason that you suffer now is because that your prayer has been accepted. Because that you asked from Hashem, now you came to Hashem, you went to the field, you said, Ibn Olam, I want the truth. I had it with all of my lies. Uh oh. It was an etratzon, your prayer being accepted, and now you're in a problem. Because now they, first of all, you, want the, you wanted the truth. Okay, now you regret. But when you asked for it, you asked for it. And now you're going to receive it. So don't run away. Don't run away. Stick to the truth. As painful as it is, it's the truth. And it's going to heal you if you're going to accept it. If you're going to just let it in and going to try, work on your humility to accept it. The reason that you're suffering is only because you're arguing with what that you're going through. If you would just nullify yourself, that's the will of Hashem. It doesn't mean that you need to drop off your will and, your, and, and, and all of your holy desires to achieve things. But you need to understand that, that you're limited. That's it. Don't drop your will. Adraba, keep on praying and pray more and put more effort and work on yourself and achieve it.